Hi, I'm Matteo. I'm a neuroscientist and an illustrator. Welcome to our weekly science challenge. This week's challenge is to make a comic about science. I will show you how to use comics to share the science you love with your friends and family. You may not think of comics when you think about science. Comics are usually about superheroes, fantasy, and other fun stuff. But they can be about anything, including science. I personally always loved comics, uh, and I love to draw, so I started drawing my own comics. But I also love science. That's why I decided to do a whole PhD in science. But I quickly realized not everybody was as excited as I was about science. I had many friends who thought science was boring or too complicated, but pretty much everyone I ever met has read comics at some point in their life. Nobody is scared of comics. So I thought, why not use comics to make science a bit more interesting to my friends and family? So here is my challenge to you. Make a comic to communicate a science topic you think people should know about. First, take a sheet of paper, any paper, any size will work, and divide it in four panels, just like this. Now, pick some science fact that you are excited about and you want to share with the world. Start with something simple, something that you can summarize in four panels, before we get to the drawing part we need to figure out what we are going to put in uh, each one of the four panels. This is called the storyboard, and it's very important. Comics are much more about storytelling than drawing. Uh, in fact, if you look at some of the most famous comics, the drawing style is very simple, but they are very good at telling stories. So I'm a neuroscientist, so I want to write something about the brain, of course. I start with the fact that the brain is made of tiny cells called neurons and neurons talk to each other using electricity. If they are not stimulated, neurons get lazy and can lose connection. That's why it's important to always learn new things. Okay, that's pretty basic, but as I said, we want to start simple. You can always draw a longer comic later if you have time. Now, to the fun part. We need a good way to illustrate each one of these concepts to make it more memorable. You can find plenty of pictures on neurons online, but most of them are pretty boring. A good trick you can use in comics is to turn some scientific object like a cell into a character. So instead of drawing a classic diagram of a neuron, I'm going to draw my neurons like this. I'm going to turn all these branches into long hair or antennae. And the axon, which is how neurons send messages to each other, into a sort of long nose or trunk. And here is my character. If you want to make label for all these parts, uh, but it doesn't really matter. My goal here is not to be realistic but to explain something about neurons. Once you have a character, everything becomes much easier. Now you can simply draw neurons talking to each other with speech bubbles, then draw a lazy neuron that forgets to call his friends. And finally, a happy neuron receiving plenty of stimulation. Done. If you want, you can add a little color to show the change of mood but that's not really important. You can explain a lot with simple black and white drawings. And now to your challenge. Find a science concept that you want to explain, maybe one of your experiments from the past weeks, and draw a four panel comics and post it down here. We will give you feedback and select lucky winner. Have fun.